morning, y'all. We are cooking with Kim today. This morning, we're going to be making a breakfast. It's going to be a low carb. It's a copycat recipe by Starbucks for their egg bite in the Instapot. Stay tuned. Okay, so we are back. What is in this recipe is, I kind of tweaked it on my own because I don't like, Daryl doesn't like cottage cheese. So I used a half of a block of cream cheese, three-fourths cup of your favorite shredded cheese. This is just a um, Colby and Monterey Jack cheese that we're using. They say Swiss doesn't work good, so don't try that one. We have a fourth a cup. It's supposed to be whipping cream. I'm using half and half. We have four large eggs. We're going to use a half a teaspoon of salt. And I have four pieces of bacon that I have already fried in the microwave. And I've put them in my little silicone egg bite from Amazon. So I'm going to whip all of this up and come back and put it in the pot and show you how easy this is to cook. Okay, so I have everything in my bowl. All I'm going to do is mix this up. Everything's in there together, and I'm just going to whip this up and show you what we do after that. I'll let my cream cheese kind of come to room temperature. And you're really supposed to use a few food processor, but I don't have one, so I have to... But I've made these, and I would think that it would be good if you had time. You could actually put like some spinach in there, or you could do some um, mushrooms, but you would have to kind of saute them because you don't want all the water in there because it would overflow. There, I think there's a lot of things though that you could actually put in there. <laughs> up completely so I am going to go ahead and all I'm going to do I have my little rack for my instapot and I have this like I said this is really good you can also I've been looking at some recipes and but we're low carbon so we really can't do it right now but they you can make some actual little bitty blueberry pancakes in this too that they say is wonderful but we're going to try this we're going to do this today this is really really good all we're going to do we have the bacon in there and we're gonna put, fill this up. And then we're gonna put a piece of tin foil over the top of it, just so that the um, steam doesn't come up and make it all ooey and gooey. And they're really good. Alrighty. Now, to my Instapot, I have a cup of water in here. And this is just so easy to do. The worst part is frying the bacon. But I mean, you're putting that in the microwave, so it really doesn't matter. Now, we're going to put our egg bites on the tray to make it easier to handle, to pick them up. I'm going to take a piece of tin foil. And I'm going to put it over it. You don't want to do it tight, just loosely, just enough to cover so that that water does not come in here. Now I'm going to put my lid on. Ooh. I'm going to put it, I got to find, I have my glasses here. We're going to put it to steam and we're doing eight minutes 
and we have the vent off so that it's sealing and once it comes up and it cooks for eight minutes we're going to let it do a natural release for 10 minutes and i'll come back to you and that is it and they're so good okay peeps it is through i'm gonna go ahead after the 10 minutes and it has actually dropped so we're going to turn this off take this out see how the water gets on top of it so you just want to make sure that you're not using that it doesn't go in there and we are going to do I'm going to take them out so you can see what they look like. I've made them and they really are good. They may not look the best, but they are good. But I highly recommend getting one of these from Amazon. And see all the bacon in the bottom? And like I said, all it is is four eggs, a half block of cream cheese, three-fourths cup of your favorite shredded cheese, a half a teaspoon of um, salt, and a fourth a cup. I used the actual half and half instead of whipping cream, and it, it comes out great. I love them. Eight minutes in this to pot, and then ten minutes under release, natural release, and they're done. Let me cut one and show you what it looks like. They're tasty, they're good. Like I said, you could add some mushrooms if you want to chop them up real small after you cook them and stuff. Some spinach, some onion, green onion and stuff in there. You could add all kinds of stuff in here if you really want to. So it's just whatever you prefer and what you like. Hot sauce, anything like that would be good in here. So, But thank you for joining me. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you make them and if you like them or not. I think they're really good. So just let me know. Have a great day. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, make sure that you give me a thumbs up, a comment, like, share. It really helps out. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.